actually went into neurosurgery because I was interested in the complexity of the brain and the nervous system. Uh, and that's what prompted me to become a neurosurgeon. Over time, as I went through my training and learned all of the technical aspects of neurosurgery, um, I really learned the patient care aspects of neurosurgery, which I did not know when I first started just out of medical school. And what I like about my job, and what, what I love about my job, is the fact that I can take care of patients, help them out, whether it's with surgery or without surgery, see them, see them through their recovery, and have a really personal interaction with them um, in ways that I never imagined when I first uh, started this profession. So when I see a patient, I evaluate them by really listening to them. I think it's really important to know what has been going on and how their disease process has evolved. And then once I've examined them, I look at the MRI with and whatever other films I need to with the patient. I always like to look at the films with the patient. I don't like to see the films ahead of time in general because I don't want to be biased by what the films show. I want to really get an understanding of what I think is going on and then have it confirmed by the films. Sometimes we then look at a 3D model of the spine and I like to go over that with them. I spend a lot of time with them. I have a relationship with my patients. I uh, know them, I know what's going on in their lives, what impact whatever condition they have um, affects them, um, how it affects their work life, their personal life, their hobbies. And you know, I will frequently run into my patients in social settings, whether it's at restaurants or at uh, the ski resorts or on a hike and when I see them doing well that gives me a lot of gratification.